Hey everybody, it's Joe. Welcome to the very temporary workbench. I've got in my hands a roll of recycled PET filament from my friends at Filamentive. They sent me a roll to play with, so I think it's time that I add to my chess set collection. Let's get to it. So Filamentive actually sent me two rolls of their recycled PET filament, one in apple green and one in black. I'm going to just play with the apple green one, but I definitely want to see if the different colors have different effects. So if there's more information about that, it'll be at my blog and you'll see the information for that in the links. But uh, I'm going to be printing today the modern chess set at my mini factory. This is a chess set that I printed previously, but I printed it in PLA. It's a chess set with a lot of overhangs, and I didn't use support when I printed it because I, I thought PLA could handle the overhangs, and it didn't. This has been sitting on my chess set, and it just, or on my chess set shelf, shelf for a while, and it just doesn't look very good. I'd like to replace it with something that looks good. Will PET be that solution? Let's get to it and find out. That didn't go very well. You know, the, the print came out, uh, popped off of the print bed, but that wasn't the fault of the filament. That was the fault of the model. I forgot that this modern chess set needs a, a little bit of tweaking before it's printable. The prints just have a round bottom, so they couldn't attach to, to the print bed very well, and so they just popped off after a while. The prints turned out really, really stringy, though. Uh, lots of these little hairs all over the prints that, you know, are easy enough to clean up, but they're a pain in the neck. So I tried again, changing the settings a little bit. I played with the retraction settings. I played with the temperature. I actually found that turning the temperature up resulted in a slightly better print. There's still some hairs on here to clean off, but not bad, not much. The retraction setting didn't actually seem to do any good. So this is my first experience with PET of any type, recycled or not. So I can't say whether this is because of the PET plastic and I don't know what I'm doing or the recycled aspect of it. 
I hear there are some optimal settings for pet. I've been researching them, trying to figure them out. If you know of any settings for pet that'll get rid of the hairies and the stringies, I'd appreciate knowing it. The King turned out okay. I modified the cross so that it had a little bit of support underneath it so that that would work. The Queen had to be supported, but the support structure comes right off real easily and it doesn't leave any of those little white tells that you get with ABS plastic. So for that, doing supports on PET seems a little bit superior. However, the overhang on the Queen uh, still turned out really badly. I can't help but think that maybe I should just print the Queen at an angle and have her base supported and then break the support off of that or I don't know. I need to change something. But those little strings coming around the, the top of this queen here, these small details just didn't come out very well. I may try again, and I may try with a different sort of filament to put it on my shelf. I guess I won't be replacing my PLA set of these modern chess sets just yet. Uh, but it turned out okay. Now, how does this filament compare to other forms of PET? Well, the filamentive PET is about 30 pounds, which means it's slightly more expensive than normal PET that I could find on other websites. They don't have a U.S. distributor that I know of, so I couldn't compare the PET, the price in American dollars to American dollars. But compared to similar distributors in the U.K., it seems like their, their PET is just slightly more expensive. It's a premium price, not too much, but enough that you're, you are paying for having a recycled filament. Now, I myself wish that I could recycle my own filament. I wish I had a filament extruder, but those sort of things are expensive and time consuming and difficult to use and difficult to set up and require constant monitoring. It's a lot of loss of money for recycling your own filament. Why not just pay a couple extra dollars to somebody else to do the hard lifting for you and you still get the benefits of using a recycled plastic. So in that, this recycled pet is possibly a very good solution for those who want to recycle but just don't want to or don't have the time or resources to actually do it with a, with a filament extruder. It's very good for that. And I don't think that it's a bad plastic, I just haven't quite dialed in the settings yet. So uh, another problem that if you know the solution to, I'm getting these little holes every time a layer starts and stops. I think that that's because my retraction is too high, but I turned up my retraction so that it wouldn't have the hairs. So I'm having a hard time finding a balance. I need your help. So if you've got a solution, please hit up that comment section. Tell me what works best for you. Also tell me your thoughts on paying a little bit more to get a recycled filament. Is it worth it, worth it to you to be the good guy and be using recycled plastic or is it just not worth the premium price in your mind? As usual, Simon's been here the whole video to remind you to like, subscribe, share, and enjoy this video. And thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time.